Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at iOS 14.7 on the iPhone 8 Plus. This is a different one, a cracked back one which I put a case on just for the case being. Now this update was a pretty big update, definitely not a small one. I don't know which specific iOS version I was coming from, but if you look here, 1.27 gigabytes coming from I think 14.5 or probably even earlier. So definitely a good sized update. Obviously iOS 15 is a bigger sized update for sure, but this update brought a couple cool things which I'm really happy to see. Looks like automatic brightness is on. Now, the first thing this update brought is actually, you know, specifically for the iPhone 12s with the MagSafe capability. It's actually for the new MagSafe charger. So if you're somebody who plans on buying one, obviously it doesn't work on the iPhone 8 Plus, so keep that in mind. But for the other people, I mean, it's a really cool thing. Unfortunately, the iPhone 8 Plus doesn't support it. We now have Apple Card improvements. So a couple cool things there. We now have in our podcast library app, we have the ability to see all the shows or only the shows that we actually follow. So that's another really cool improvement right there. And there's been a couple of cool improvements overall too. Some bug fixes, battery improvements and stuff. But those are essentially the main updates. Now uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a comparison between iOS 14.7 and iOS 15 on my other iPhone 8 Plus just for the case being. Okay, there we go. Let's go and clear all the apps in the background which there's a couple of them on both. iOS 15 is on the left, iOS 14.7 is on the right. So phone calls, three, two, one, and about the same. It's kind of hard to see on the iPhone 8 Plus. Music, three, two, one, and 14.7 definitely looks to be a little bit faster there, at least to load into that specific panel. Let's do their app stores, three, two, one, and a little bit of a pop up on the iPhone 8 Plus on iOS 14.7. So we'll just kind of let this one slide, but scrolling speeds they look about the same here, too. Not that big of a difference. Hopping out of this app, let's get into books, three, two, one. And I think they were both about the same, not that big of a difference here. Let's get into camera, three, two, one. And about the same here too, not that big of a difference. Photos, three, two, one. And a little bit of a pop-up here, hopping out of this one. Let's go and end it off with something like mail, three, two, one. And there we have it. So let's go and do clock for the fun of it, three, two, one. And about the same here too. So not that big of a difference here. I think iOS 15 may be a little bit faster. Or actually, they're about the same, to be honest. I didn't really see one being way faster than the other one. So now, should you actually install iOS 14.7 on your iPhone 8 Plus? Well, this is what I'll tell you. I think this update is a good update. You know, I think it kind of brought a lot to the table. It's not that it was like a big update in terms of size or features. It just seemed like iOS 14.6. A lot of people complete, like, complain about it, and there were a lot of issues for it. You know, I, I think 14.6 definitely needed some improvements. But I think as of right now, iOS 15 is definitely, you know, looking to be better and more stable. But 14.7 is the way to go. If you don't care about jailbreaking, if you don't care about any of that stuff, then I would highly recommend staying on iOS 14.7. It just makes the most sense to me. It really doesn't make too much sense to install iOS like, you know, 15 right now because it's not stable. And it doesn't make any sense to install iOS 14.6 anymore. 14.7 is the more stable way to go. And I would highly recommend you guys to do that over, you know, installing iOS 15 or iOS 14.6. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button. That would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.